Howdy everybody and welcome back to Melania's Arsenal, the series where we fight Melania and NG7 with every single weapon. In this episode we will be using the Flowerstone Gavel. It is a thrusting hammer. Nobody else suggested it, it's just one I wanted to do. Before we get into it, I'd just like to say if you enjoy the content, please do leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment if you want to help choose the next weapon. Let's get into it, shall we? Weapon of the Dragon Communion Priestess. A dragonstone hammer resembling an ancient flower. The four petals and the flower's core are all sharp, ending in points, and are capable of dealing heavy damage to dragons. Uh, this is not my first take trying to do this weapon. It is, uh... I had to walk away for a second, so I reset. Overall, it is a strength arcane weapon, which means... I mean, it's nice having an arcane alternative that's not like split damage or anything. Oh, this is a little bit awkward, but we'll take it. That was rather interesting, to say the least. And I don't like this positioning. Yeah. That was awkward, but that's okay. Oh. I want her away from this wall, but I can't seem to get her away from this wall. <laughs> there we go, alright. I'm surprised she's not been stance broken yet either, though, honestly. We are running the Turtle Talisman, Two-Headed Turtle Talisman, along with the Spear Talisman and then the Combo Talisman. Honestly, I, I'm gonna say the combo talisman's probably making pretty good work right now, at least. Hey, we got a crit. Not bad. We're gonna heal, and then we're just gonna go right back to hitting our one. The spear talisman is because it does all thrust attacks, and as you can see, we're actually getting quite a few counter hits on her. And the actual damage from that is a pretty big boost. It brings you up to, like... Oh, that sucks. That was not an intentional 5-hit combo there. Brings you up by, like, a good, like, 20 or 30%, something like that, if I remember correctly. Brings you up from, like, 500 damage to 800, something like that. Which, when I say like that, that's actually, like, a 60% damage boost. Who knows how much it actually is, because that sounds wrong. Alright, let's get her, though, shall we? Of course she would. Think she's gonna clones here? I didn't think she would. I feel like that's something that she only does when she's a little bit lower on health. Alright. Oh, really? Okay. Alright, so you have to delay a little bit on some of these R1s in phase two. That was weird. But okay. That was all just very awkward. Now we can't go as heavy in on her attacks. Because we know she'll probably want to kick here and there. Or do waterfowl. This is really good positioning for it too. Because we're going to run this way for attack of the clones. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and her attack. Which I rolled a little late on, but that's okay. I also rolled early on that part. Anyway, personally, as good as... Wow, that just whiffed on her, huh? As good as two-handing is, like, everywhere, this is one of those weapons that I would actually say don't do hand against her with, honestly. I, stood, I feel like I'm over committing more on this thing than I have like any weapon recently. It's so weird. I even colossal weapons don't feel like I'm over committing this much. That's crazy. I mean, like, I've been hit, like, one for one every single kick she's done so far, huh? 
maybe maybe not one of them but still i'm just getting beat up by her here honestly it makes me i thought that this weapon would be incredibly strong and it is doing good damage and stuff right but like oh my god dude maybe i'm just playing really poorly honestly Because, like, something about this just feels wrong. I don't know if it's hammer downtime, but, like, I've, I've not dodged a single one of those kicks yet, huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. No, it's me, dude. I'm missing my spacing everywhere, too. <laughs> I'm weirdly getting tilted by this weapon. Like, I don't feel upset, I guess, but, like, I'm messing up a lot of things, you know? And, as you can see, I'm down to two flasks. It's like, her kick takes so little time compared to the hammer for some reason. Dude. Like, I'm out of flasks. How long has it been since I've run out of flasks against Melania? Like, normally I would at least die. Alright. Sheesh, dude. Okay, maybe this weapon isn't nearly as good as I thought it would be. Like, this thing kind of dragged against her through and through. It had good damage, but I was trading way too many blows, you know? Let's go fight, uh... If you want something weak to thrust, you should fight, uh, Relina. So we're gonna try that. And we're gonna pet a kitty cat while the game loads. Wonderful. <sighs> I don't know. We'll fight Relina. We'll do a couple other things. I don't know. I'm not as impressed by this thing now, but... I mean, that's good damage against her. Like, you gotta think... A running R1 did 1,700 damage? Sheesh. Maybe a counter hit her, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I think I gotta fight her unlocked. Yeah, okay, it did. No, I circled the wrong direction. Can you tell? Uh, I'm not very good at this fight still. Oh, I died for that one, huh? <laughs> Dude, I don't know why. I am... Uh, I'm going to switch up my build a little bit. Because it's going to be harder to land blows on her. So I think I'm going to try out the two-handed boost set instead. Maybe that'll help me get the damage I need. And with running R1s being so strong, we'll try the uh, running attack talisman. And yeah. Holy cow, dude. I mean, like, yeah, we're doing a lot of damage per hit, at least. I almost rolled it, at least, huh? <laughs> Counter hitting running R2 does 2500 damage. Alright. Without Spear Talisman. Nah, I tried. You know, maybe one day I'll see the appeal of this fight, but I still haven't found it yet. I was really hoping I could time it properly. Ooh. Wait, I want to be close, then outrun it, and then we'll pop our, our buff. Both of them, since she gave me time for it. Oh, very much so. Almost not enough time. <laughs> True. Maybe I should just be doing running R2s, apparently. Yeah, you gotta roll out of the way of that. Already, kind of wish we had a rune arc this time. Honestly, I mean, like the actual damage is really good on this thing, right? At least against Relina. 
Yeah, really good. She's dead off of that even. Okay, I mean, like, the weapon's good. Hmm. I died to her once, but that's also because I'm bad at the rail enough fight. Uh, this thing's hitting pretty hard is the thing, right? Probably won't be using very many run attacks here. Who oh, broke me? Any mini run attacks here? So let's swap to uh, combo talisman. I wear a shield in this fight, but I very rarely use a shield in this fight. You know? Do we have time? You think? I'm gonna say, sort of. Good. We're gonna back away, yeah. Oh, that's awkward. I think he only hit me there because of him being stuck on the uh, the arena. Same idea there. His positioning is only because I, if I'm gonna be fighting Mesmer the way I normally do, I actually need to be wearing the. Uh, Crimson Seed plus one, honestly. Because the way that I fight him is pretty much trading blow for blow, huh? Like, I expect to take damage even when I'm healing. There we go. That was a little bit late on that R1. He's about to go to phase two, though. Or not. There we go. All right. We'll see how phase two goes. I'm so bad at dodging this snake. Like, specifically that one. More than a lot of the other ones. Half of those snakes are fake outs. I'm slowly learning. That was good. Alright, so if you roll with that, you seem to be able to get a pretty good punish window. I'm dead. Oh, I deserve to die for that, at least. <laughs> Way too early. Ooh, and then I... Oh, you want to talk about poor timing on, like, ten moves in a row? That's what led me to this situation. <laughs> I'm telling you, worse than like any other uh, game, or worse than anything else, I feel like I throw right near the end of boss fights and the DLC especially. I don't know. Oh, screw that, dude. All right, I'll take it. And he should be dead here. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't terrible. It took us... Did we die once? I actually don't remember now. But, uh, that was pretty good. Uh... Let's go fight Lion, I guess, and then we'll call it there. As I mentioned before, I've kind of taken a step back from doing the gauntlet for now. I will get back to it later, I think. Hmm. I mean, I, I think I will, honestly, but, uh... This weapon's actually been kind of kind of mid. I, I think the feeling that I'm getting from it is that I'm not exactly using it properly, and I think the idea is that it's supposed to be used with the Dragon Communion stuff, right? Yeah. Because, like, even the weapon art says it lowers, like, lightning defenses. Oh, this guy really doesn't have thrust defense, huh? Sheesh. 1900 on a running R1. I 
I don't know what I think about this boss. Sometimes I think it just feels like a mess. Like, I don't even know what hit me there, honestly. Look for lightning bolts. I mean, like, 2400 damage is pretty good, huh? That was like a non boosted charge star, too. You know, I don't really know what to do in that situation to not totally just get hit. I know the lightning patterns are very specific depending on the attack that he uses, but I still don't quite know how to get around them, you know? Oh my god, dude. And then in this phase, I had to get around the ice, like... When I'm point blank like this, it feels like the delayed uh, ice hits are almost guaranteed to hit. But I think that's how I'm rolling. I should be rolling away from him, if anything. Or maybe my timing needs to be tighter. Hmm. I don't know. That does have a hitbox. It's just really small, I guess. I would like for him to chill for just two seconds so I can, like, finish him off. <laughs> just, like, one more hit, right? Yeah, all right. I mean, this weapon did fine against him. He does get 0% thrust resist, which is better than other stats. Please, I would actually like some feedback on this weapon, because I get the feeling that I am just building it wrong. Maybe you're supposed to focus on using Flower Dragon Bolt. By the way, both of these apparently stack independently for lightning debuffs. But, like, it doesn't seem great for a weapon because you get maybe one or two casts out of it after that point. When it... You could pro... I don't have the right spells to test it, right? But you could probably cast Lightning Bolt with that and then use, like, Ancient Dragon Lightning Strikes. And then probably get even bigger damage. I guess that's the idea. Anyway... I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.